Hello guys, welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Natasha, I'm a polyglot, I am fluent in nine languages, and here on my channel I'm sharing different language learning stories and tips. In today's video I wanted to talk with you about something that I really cannot believe I haven't talked about yet, and it is how to learn and how to practice languages as an introvert. Trust me, I am the best person possible to make this kind of video since I have been introvert my whole life, ever since I was born probably. And the thing that I'm noticing is that the older I am, the more introverted I am becoming. So I know that for many people, being able to speak several languages somehow automatically means that you are a very outgoing and social person and that you are going around the world and speaking those languages to many people and practicing and learning that way. But in a case that you are, if you are someone who is preferring privacy, who prefers privacy and who likes to avoid people, you can definitely still be a polyglot. You can still learn many languages, even without having to talk to people all the time. So in today's video, I want to share with you what are our advantages as introverts. We do have some advantages when it comes to learning languages. And I want to give you a few tips on how to learn a language even when you hate talking to people. I know that many of you who are introverts are probably wondering, what is the point of learning a new language, putting all that effort and time into learning a new language, and then never speaking it with someone in your life or speaking it rarely with people? Let me tell you that learning a new language is always useful. It is always a good thing to do, even when you are a shy or introverted person who knows that you're not going to go out of your way to speak it with someone. Uh, from my own experience, I did speak in all of my nine languages with people. A few years ago, when I was still a student, I used to go to different meetings where people would uh, practice different languages. Now, at this point of my life, as I told you, the older I am, the more introvert I become. I would never do that again. So I had to find another way of learning languages and practicing them. And let me tell you that even if you're just using a language in order to read books or watch movies or listen to music or even talk to yourself only, it is still useful to know that language. I believe that no knowledge is useless. So even if you know that you're never going to practice it with someone, it still makes sense to learn a new language. One amazing thing that I have noticed about us introverts is that most of us are really good listeners. I am such a good listener that sometimes it's really a problem for me because a lot of people feel so good in my company that they feel the need to share everything with me, even things that I don't really care about. And I have always been a great listener to all the friends I ever had, even to people who were not my friends. I was such a good listener to the point that I became like a trash can for everyone's thoughts and problems and for every kind of thing. This in certain parts of life, in certain situations is a big problem, but when it comes to language learning, this is actually a huge advantage we introverts have. Of course, I'm sure that some introverts are not really good listeners, but in a case you are one of those who are, trust me, learning a new language is going to be much easier for you than for people who don't like to listen. Every learning, every language learning always starts with listening. That's why I always advise people to not hurry up with speaking. You don't have to start speaking during first few months of your language learning journey. During those first few months, it is perfectly okay to just listen and read. And in a case, if you are someone who is a good listener, this is going to be super easy for you. I feel that we introverts are really receiving, able to receive all kind of information from our surrounding. And for some reason, at least in my case, those information stuck in my head, are stuck in my head forever. That was very helpful when it comes to language learning. I remember back in high school, I think I was 16 or 17 at the time, I decided to start learning Greek. Since there was no course or, or classes for learning Greek back in my city in Bosnia, I had to do it online. And of course, at that time, I didn't really have a chance to travel. I didn't have any 
chance to actually talk to people, to Greek people or Greek speaking people. So I learned Greek during first two years only by listening, reading and watching movies, listening to music. I did not speak with anyone at all during those first two years. First time I spoke Greek to someone, to a native speaker was, I think when I was 21 or 22, maybe 20, 20 years old. In Prague, I met another student from Greece and that was the first time in my life I spoke Greek to someone and it was not a problem. Even though I never spoke Greek before, I was learning it for a couple of years, but I did not, I was not able to speak with anyone. Still speaking for me was not a problem. And the main reason, in my opinion, is the fact that I was so good at listening to Greek and talking to myself in my head that it was not even necessary to speak to another person. Now that I have mentioned talking to myself, and I think I have mentioned it in a few of my videos, I cannot explain you how important it is to do that. I know that for many people it's going to sound like uh, maybe a symptom of mental illness, but it's not. I think that we all have to talk to ourselves from time to time, and it, when it comes to learning languages, it is super, super useful. You're not going to feel uh, scared and shy, and you're not going to be afraid to make mistakes because you are only talking to yourself. I do this all the time, even without wanting to do that. I love overthinking, I love overanalyzing things, and I always do it in different languages. Not because I want to intentionally, but because it just became part of my personality. So I find myself from time to time talking, not out loud, but inside, talking to myself or doing interview with myself in different languages, and I cannot explain you how much it helps. Of course, once you start talking to someone else, it might be a little bit more complicated than only talking to yourself, but talking to yourself is definitely a great start. So in a case you're an introvert and you don't want to be around other people, you're perfectly enough for yourself in order to learn a language. Trust me, I have tried it and I did it with all the languages I speak and it always worked and it's also helping me practice those languages now when I don't have anyone else to practice it with. So talk to yourself and you will be able to learn a language and not to forget it at the same time. In a case you decided that you really have to speak to someone, I think that the best way to start is to find a buddy, a language buddy. You can do that on in different Facebook groups where all polyglots gather and they share their experiences and trust me there are a lot of people trying to find a language par learning partner or someone to practice that language with and I believe that there are also a lot of apps who are giving you the same opportunity, they're free and I'm going to write their names down in the description of this video. In the beginning, or for beginners, for those of you who still don't feel safe enough to talk, I think that the best thing to do is to start writing. Uh, find new bodies online and start with chats. I think that's very helpful because you're not going to feel the pressure to perform really well in that language. You can still be kind of relaxed because you are just writing. However, if you really want to practice speaking, at some point you will have to go to using your voice instead of typing. This is also possible thanks to 21st century we are living in. There are so many apps where you ha can find a language partner from a different country who is the native speaker of your target language. And you don't even have to use video calls. You don't have to see each other face to face, which I know is something that might make a lot of people nervous. There is possibility to just talk to each other as if you were on the phone without having to see each other's face. And I know that in a case you are very shy, it might be hard, but it's something you will have to get over. You will have to get over that and it's going to help you a lot. I know that there is a big difference between talking to someone face to face in real life and talking to someone online. I personally have never been a big fan of online talking. I don't even like video calls. I only have them with my family because we, I don't live anywhere near them anymore. But even with them, I still prefer having just a normal call. This is, however, just my 
thing. I don't know why I feel this way. I always preferred, if I have to deal with people, I prefer having them right in front of me instead of having to go through video calls and stuff. But I know that for most of people, just talking on a video call or even without video, just having a normal call is much easier than having someone who is sitting right next to you. So be happy to live in 21st century and definitely use all these apps that are giving you these opportunities. As I said, I'm going to uh, name all those apps in my video description. And I think they're the greatest thing that was invented when it comes to language learning. Last thing I want to mention that is very useful for us introverts is the fact that you don't really have to talk to like 10 people in whatever language you're learning. I believe that it's better to just find one person and talk only to them. This is something that I didn't do when I was younger. As I already mentioned, when I was a student, I would go to different events and meet many people and I would be practicing my languages with so many people that at some point I just felt like, okay, this is too much, I cannot. Of course, if you're an extrovert, this is super easy for you, but for us introverts, having the more people you have around you, the harder it is. So my advice for all of you guys would be to just find one person, whether on a language learning app or somewhere on Facebook, social media, or in real life, in a case you're, uh, you're living in a multinational city, you can definitely find different people from different countries who speak different languages, but just stick to one or two people. There is no need to feel pressure to have a lot of language learning partners. There is no need to feel pressure to talk to a lot of people because speaking from my own experience, that is definitely going to make you much more tired than it's going to help you. It's going to be not as helpful for you. So this is my last tip for all of you who are introverts, but at the same time, you don't want to miss on language learning. I definitely think it's possible to learn languages equally as good as extroverts do. Maybe in some cases it's even good, it's even better to be an introvert. As I said, I feel that we really have great listening skills and that is the step number one you have to go through when you're learning languages. Listening is super important. Reading is super important as well. So there are millions of books out there that you can read and in the end of the day, if you are not feeling like speaking that language to someone, it is still perfectly fine to learn it. It's never going to be useless. You never know when you might need it. You're working out your brain muscles and there is no knowledge that is useless. So in a case you are introvert, trust me, learning languages, it's still very useful for you. In a case you are shy, I don't really know what to tell you. I guess that the same tips apply for, to you as well. I personally have never been shy. I have always been quiet just because people make me tired, not because I am shy. And when I have to talk to in a language that I speak with someone, I don't have problem talking to them. I just wanted to end as soon as possible so I can go back to being alone. Guys, I hope I gave you a few useful tips here. Let me know what you what are you, introvert or extrovert? Do you feel that it influenced your language learning journey and how did it influence your language learning journey? I would definitely love to hear from all of you who are extroverts. I wanna know if it has helped you when it comes to learning languages. I believe it did, because if you love to talk in your native language, you will love to talk in your non-native language even more. So let me know in the comments what was your experience. Once again, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I appreciate each new subscriber, each view I get on my videos. I really, really am so grateful to all of you guys. So in a case you like this video, leave me a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel and can't wait to see you again. See you soon, hopefully. Bye.